To many people, psychics is synonymous with psycho. But regardless of your opinion of these self-appointed seers, they are nonetheless interesting. They not only feel they can predict the future, but they can teach you and I how to do it. The first step is to feel good about yourself. Put your arms around yourself. Say, I love you. And this is one of the neatest things that we can do is put our arms around ourselves. Say, I love you, Mary Nay. <laughs> Come on, kids, try it. <laughs> The next step is to find some energy, a tough thing to do these days, but if you don't have enough, you can borrow it from someone else. He seems to be low on energy, so I am sending him energy, but we're also trying to, we're feeling his own energy field. Do I have a lot of energy? No, <laughs> Not today you don't. What yeah, seems to be the problem? Mm -hmm. Now that is what you know. And the final step is to make a prediction or two. I think there's going to be a lot of new things that's going to happen in this year, in 1981. You're our sports expert. <laughs> <laughs> what predictions do you make about the Super Bowl? Well, I predicted that uh, Dallas would win the Super Bowl. Dallas ain't They've got to get there first, yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, she doesn't always profess to be right. Predicting the future has to be a tough business to be in these days. Ron Futrell, 4 News.